In this video, you'll see how to launch a monetized site on WordPress in just a few steps with MemberPress Ready Launch. With Ready Launch, you'll get pre styled, mobile responsive pages. You don't have to worry about design or page building, so you can sell your content from day one. Whether you're just getting started with MemberPress or you already have a site up and running, you can use Ready Launch to achieve a simple and sleek membership site experience like you see here. So, I have a brand new site created on WordPress and the MemberPress plugin installed. Once you install MemberPress, you'll have the option to go through the setup wizard. It guides you through adding a payment method, a piece of protected content, and a membership. After completing the setup wizard, I created one additional membership and a group for my two memberships. So, going to MemberPress and Memberships, you can see my two memberships and the registration pages for each that are automatically generated by MemberPress. And if I go to Groups, here's my group. And the URL for the pricing page. That's automatically created by MemberPress too. And if I go to Courses, you can see here I have some online courses I created with MemberPress courses. So to get started with ReadyLaunch, go to MemberPress and Settings. Then click the ReadyLaunch tab. Okay, so first, select your logo image. Here, you'll see your recommended size and file types. And you don't have to select a logo here if you don't want to, it's completely optional. Click to select a logo image file from your media library or upload a new one. Next, select a primary brand color. It'll show up on the top banner and some other places. Click to select a color from the color picker or enter a hex color value. And when you're done, just click update to save your changes. Next, you'll see a list of pages. Just a few notes. If you're installing MemberPress for the first time, these Ready Launch pages will be automatically enabled like you see here, whether you went through the initial setup wizard or chose to skip it. If you already have a site built with a theme, you'll just need to come to the Ready Launch tab and enable your pages individually here. So in the case of already having a MemberPress site built, Ready Launch will override the design of those current pages, so you don't need to change anything else. And you can revert back to your old page designs too at any point. Since this is a fresh MemberPress install and my site's brand new, they're all enabled. And if you already have a MemberPress site up and running and are enabling these pages manually, you'll be prompted with this window to further customize. Just click update to save your changes. But in my case of a brand new site, I just need to customize the pages now. Just click customize next to each toggle. First, the pricing page. Before I customize, I'll show you what this looks like right now. I'll open up Groups, and then click to view my pricing page. You can see my logo and brand color that we said earlier. So going back to the settings, I'll choose Customize next to Pricing Page, and then enter a page title, Sign Up. The CTA button color will change the color of the sign up button if you have a membership price box set to highlighted in the membership settings. We'll see what this is in a bit. So you can change that if you want to. And then here under subheadline, you can add text that shows up under the page title. So I'll go ahead and enter some text here. And when you're done, just click update to save your changes. And once you have a page enabled, you can always come back into the ready launch tab here in the settings and click customize to make changes at any time. Just be sure to click update to save them. Now going back to my pricing page, I'll hit refresh. And here's what it looks like now. My title, subheadline, and pricing table. So going back to Ready Launch, next we have registration pages. This styles the registration pages for individual memberships, which is where people enter their payment info and buy your memberships. And there aren't any options to further customize registration pages here. So going back to my pricing page, if I click sign up, here's what that memberships registration page looks like. You see the Ready Launch styling with info about the costs, the fields that I require at sign up, and my Stripe payment input, which is the payment gateway I have added in my MemberPress settings. And you see a place here to enter a coupon code, since I do have that enabled in my MemberPress settings. So you can see that just in a few steps, I was able to create a simple, nice looking page that makes it easy to sell memberships. So going back to my pricing page, what's displayed here in the price boxes is set per membership. So to show you that, I'll go back to WordPress, and then MemberPress, and Memberships. Then I'll click on my Pro Membership. Here under Price Box is where you can edit what's in your price boxes. 
You can list what people get with a membership, add some heading text explaining who it's best for, and enable the highlighted option to sort of nudge people to buy this plan over another. See our knowledge base page on membership options to see more information on editing price boxes. So here in the membership edit page is where you can modify what's in each price box. Okay, going back to the ready launch tab in the member press settings. Next is the thank you page. This is the page users see right after making a purchase. If I click customize, you see two options. First, I won't enable either of them. Now to show you what this looks like, I'll go to the pages tab here in the settings. And then here next to my thank you page, I'll click view. And here it is, nice and simple. It thanks a user for the purchase and it gives a breakdown of what they bought. Now I'll head back to the ready launch tab and then click to customize the thank you page. First, I'll enable show welcome image and select an image here. This could be anything like your logo, some sort of image showing the signup process is being finished, something that represents your product or brand or whatever you want. I'll select an image here and then click update. Now, when I go back to my thank you page and hit refresh, here's what it looks like with the order details and the image here on the right. Now, going back to ready launch, if I go back to customize the thank you page and enable custom message, I can enter text that will be displayed instead of that purchase information we saw earlier. So I'll enter some text here and link this to my course page and click update. Now, going back to the thank you page, I'll refresh it and it displays my text here instead of that purchase info. This could be useful to give users information about next steps, since this is the very first thing they see right after purchasing. It could be something like check your email to get started, click here to get started, click here to take the course, or whatever you want. You could include a link to the member account page, a custom members only dashboard, and more. So going back to the settings, I'll choose to customize the thank you page one last time and disable the welcome image. And here's what that looks like now. Just your custom message here. So I'm going to go back in the ready launch. And for my site, I'll go ahead and disable these two options. So it's just my purchase information. Next, you see the login page. Now I'll go to the pages tab again here in the settings. And then here next to my login page, I'll right click view and open it in a new incognito window. You'll need to open this page in a new incognito window to preview it, because if you just open it, since you're already logged in as your admin user, it'll just redirect you to your home page or whatever page is set in the settings, and you won't be able to view the login page. And here's what that page looks like. The logo that I uploaded in the main global ready launch settings and the login form. Next, I'll go back to ready launch and customize the login page and choose show welcome image. I'll select an image of my site logo and then click update. Now going to the login page again, here's what it looks like now. And let's say I didn't like this image and I wanted a different one. I just hop back into ready launch, click customize next to login, remove the image, select a new one, and save it. Now, when I go back to my login page, here it is. So back in ready launch, next we have the account page. This is the member account page where members can see info about their subscriptions, payments, change their plan if you allow them to, access their courses, and more. So again here, you can add a custom welcome image, and I'll use this image here. And make sure to save the change. Then going back to the pages tab, I'll click here to view my account page. And here's what it looks like. And disabling the welcome image will just make it so this image doesn't show. In this tab, members can see and edit their info here. And you can add more information fields in the member press settings too. And you can see the payments, the status, and this menu here, which will display different things based on various member press add-ons that you might have set up. I have the MemberPress PDF invoice add-on installed, so you can see a link to download a PDF invoice here. And you have a tab for subscriptions. And the same thing here with this menu. 
Here I have the change plan option where members can upgrade or downgrade their plans with this change plan pop-up. And since I do have the MemberPress corporate accounts add-on installed, here members can click sub-accounts, and it brings up this screen where they can create their sub-accounts. And here's where a member can access courses they may have access to and see their progress. See our knowledge base for more information about the member account page. Okay, lastly, if you have the MemberPress Courses add-on activated on your site, you'll see this last option here for Courses and Lessons. Clicking Customize, you'll see options to change the default look of your course pages. Before I do that, I'll go to MemberPress and Courses, and then click to view one of my courses that I created. And here's what it looks like by default when you activate the Courses add-on. And going back to the main course listings page, here's what that looks like. Now, going back to Ready Launch, I'll add a main brand color here. And then I'll just leave the rest of the colors set to their default. Then I'll upload my white logo image. And then I'll leave all the rest of these options set as is. And make sure to save everything. Now, going back to my courses page, here's what it looks like now. And if I click a course, Here's the course. And going through the course lessons, you can see the progress color here. See our knowledge base on MemberPress courses for more in-depth guides and video tutorials on creating and selling online courses. And one other note, you can also change the look of course pages using the WordPress customizer, which gives you a side-by-side real-time view when designing. Again, see our knowledge base for more information on course design and customization. Okay, back in the Ready Launch tab, with all these pages enabled, I'll click Update Options here at the bottom just to make sure everything's saved one last time. Now, I'll open my site in a new incognito window to go through the signup process as a brand new site visitor, just to show you what all this looks like. Here's a simple homepage that I set up that includes a signup, login, and course page link here in my navigation. So, as a brand new visitor here in my incognito window, I'll click Sign Up, and I'm taken to my pricing page. And one note about these Ready Launch pages is they're all mobile responsive. So opening a mobile view, you can see they're responsive with different screen and device sizes. Going back to the normal view, if I click sign up for my pro membership, it takes me to that registration page. I'll enter a sample coupon code, and here's what that looks like. Now I'll fill out my registration form with some fake testing data and some test payment information. Then when I sign up, it redirects me to my thank you page. The test user can get to their account page by clicking up here and going to account. And here's the account page. You can see the courses, subscriptions, and payments. And again, you can see this page is mobile responsive too, like all of them are. Now, I'll log out as the test user, and then here's the login page. And you can see what it looks like on mobile. And then now, I'll log in as that test user that I just registered as, and you can see that I'm logged in. Now, I'll click Courses, and here's my course page styled with my colors and logo. And I'll click to enter a course, and my entire course experience is styled too. So as you can see, Ready Launch makes it super easy to get a clean membership experience all set up with just a few clicks. You can make groups, courses, and memberships at any time, and the styles will be applied to them too. To show you that real quick, I'll go back to WordPress, then MemberPress and Memberships, and Add New. I'll create a new membership, and give it a price, and then click to save it. Now, when I go to view my membership, you can see the Ready Launch stylings applied here, too. Now, I'll pause the video and edit what's in this membership's price box. Okay, now I'll go to Groups, click to edit my group, and then down here I'll add my new membership to it. Then I'll be sure to save it. And then now, going to my pricing page, Here's what it looks like with all three memberships. So with Ready Launch, it's really easy to get in here and offer more membership tiers as you scale your business. 
And you can also mix and match ReadyLaunch pages with pages that you create and design yourself. So you don't have to have them all enabled here in the settings. Just choose which ones you want. And again, if you already had a site built before ReadyLaunch, you can come in here and toggle these pages off to revert back to your original theme. And if you turn the Ready Launch pages back on, your settings are still saved. One last thing. For further customization, you can insert Ready Launch elements onto separate WordPress pages and posts. To show you that, I'll go to Pages here in the left sidebar and create a new page. So when you open the block inserter, you'll see some Ready Launch blocks that you can insert. Just click any one of these to insert it. The account page, which you can see inserted here the registration form, so just click to insert it, and then here under the block settings, you'll just choose your membership. And then you can see the registration form embedded here. You can also insert your login form, and under the block settings, you can show, hide, or change that welcome image for this block. And changing this image to something different won't affect the image on your main login page that's selected in the Ready Launch tab of the settings. And you can also insert a pricing table. So here in the block settings, just select your member press group. And then here you can show or hide the headline and change the highlighted button color. So these blocks can come in handy if you want to take things a step further and create custom pages. You can insert content above and below things like your registration forms, login form, and pricing table. All you do is just create a new page in WordPress, customize it however you want, and then insert these forms and features onto it. For example, this could be like a custom pricing page with your ready launch price boxes, and then you can insert a video and some information about your memberships below. Or a custom login page with your login form and some content above and below it, or just about anything else you can think of creating. And that's it. You've now seen how to get selling your content with MemberPress ReadyLaunch. See our knowledge base for more information on ReadyLaunch and all things MemberPress. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips, tricks, and video tutorials on making your MemberPress site a success. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.